Welcome to Fight City Gym Talk. You are here with Eric Wallin. Today we're going to answer that age-old question. Velcro versus lace-up or hook and loop. Uh, I've called it Velcro my whole life, but technically when I order, it's always called hook and loop on the, the websites and stuff. So we're just going to call it Velcro today, but hook and loop, same thing. Now, the question is, which one's better? Today I've got the Reyes kind of classic gloves. This one's 14 ounce, this one's 16 ounce. I've also got Rival. RB11, which is one of my favorite Rival gloves. This is the bag glove. And then also one of my favorite Rival gloves, these are both 16 ounces, is RS100. I would really like to make this glove mine one day, but I gotta explain why I don't like lace-ups and why I probably won't make this glove mine ever. But I would really like it. Like I, I do have a crush on this glove and I do wanna eventually make it my own. So there's two major reasons you want a lace-up glove and I can sum it up really quick. And you can honestly stop watching the video after I say these two things. The first one, wrist problems. If you have ticky-tack wrist problems where your wrist is always sore and achy, you probably want lace-ups. Second one, hard sparring. I'm not talking about sparring with your buddies. I'm talking about you go to another gym and you schedule an appointment and you go spar hard against other people. For me, if, if I was going to another gym, and there was four or five other pros and we're just gonna go round after round after round, I might bring a pair of lace-ups. But I've done that with Velcro gloves, Velcro gloves I know and trust, and I've done fine. So once again, I'm not real motivated to go buy a lace-up glove yet. I don't really have that the wrist problems, so I haven't been motivated to, to convert over to lace-up yet. So maybe as I get older, I might become a lace-up guy as I become older, I don't know. But I am big on efficiency, and that might be why I'm such a hook and loop guy. If I have two hours to train at the gym, I wanna train for two hours. I don't wanna spend a half hour finding someone to, to lace my gloves up for me. I want my shoes on as fast as possible, my gloves on as fast as possible, and I wanna get working as soon as I can. So when it comes to lace-ups, there's obviously some, some big reasons why they're super inconvenient. You gotta get someone to lace them up. There's also reasons why they're obviously better. They will secure your wrist way better than any Velcro ever will. But let's talk about um, some of the downsides to the Velcro. The, probably the biggest downside to the Velcro is, is Velcro, it's gonna wear out. You hear me do this review all the time on these gloves where I say, this is where it's gonna wear out first, this is where it's gonna wear out second. If you eliminate this, one of the major reasons gloves fail, you've eliminated that, and now you only have a couple other reasons why the glove might fail. Some people have come to me and said, Eric, I've had this glove, especially like a Reyes glove, I've had this glove for like six years, I train every day. Um, the reason is because it's a lace-up, the Velcro doesn't fail. You can replace laces, you can't replace Velcro. So the fact is, gloves that last longer seem to be lace-up. So durability, the lace-up is better. Uh, but for me, I calculate my expenses and I think to myself, I would rather train more and spend a little bit more on gloves. Let's say like I'm, I always talk about $100 a year. If I spend $100 a year on gloves and I'm buying Velcro, I'm kind of okay with that because I want to be training as much as I can when I walk into the gym. What I don't want to do is have two hours to train, but only train for an hour and a half because I spend a half hour on equipment. I want to get training ASAP when I walk into the place. So with that being said, uh, what's better? The better question is, what's better for you? If you've got all day, if you've got wrist problems, if you're doing a lot of heavy sparring, maybe lace up is the way to go. Oh, and also if you have a wheeling coach, don't be that guy that shows up late, interrupts class and, and demands that your coach has to come out of class and lace your gloves up so that he can come into class late. Don't be that guy. If you're late, be polite, sneak into class as soon as you can and just get with the program. So. With that being said, hopefully that answers your questions. Lace up versus Velcro and what is better. Thank you for joining me and hopefully you'll hear from me soon.